Force and Texas A&M. High snap handled. Rouse first touch goes for a to choose what it is they want to stop. Another high snap. Rouse tries to counter. Mustang ready. Rouse, he said, I will take him against any linebacker in the country one on one. Car rolling on second and long. Finds a check down. Heavy pressure coming. Carr has to heave it. Inch wingspan and runs a 4-6. He also will show up on Sundays next year. On third and 17, Carr check down to Rouse. For Baylor this year, he is number one in the nation in total offense. Bobby Rouse gets the handoff. He will pick that up pretty quickly. Rouse on third down. Bounces away from the pile. But on the back end in all the land. And a very, very special athlete when you watch him on tape. Carr completes to the outside. Fresno State. Carr and the Bulldogs hurry up against the SMU Blitz. Derek Carr downfield and what a great. Taking ball in the screen game as well when they want to get the ball to the perimeter. Rouse for a pickup. Carr sacked all the way back at the 48. Stuffer, but he's going to come off the edge right there. You can see a great swim move, and that's a good tactic. The offense responds to that and gets a little more life than we've seen out of Fresno State thus far. Incomplete on this drive. Car dropped, fumbled it, recovered. Another fumble, knocked out of bounds, back fumble. And Marcus Hunt is going to come off the edge right there. And this is exactly why the NFL is in love with this guy. Remember, he hasn't played a lot of football, and so he doesn't have a lot of bad habits. But what he does have is unbelievable measurables. And you saw him getting around the edge right there. The six foot eight defensive end from Estonia, who's playing just his fourth year of competitive football. But this is. <laughs> Kelly's Colorado yeah, State was Rams making that. an appearance. <laughs> Third in the FBS, 41% of the points off turnovers. Are being chased on second down. Hunt again. There, and then it's Davis from the outside that finishes the job. Hunt, great pressure up inside, and then Davis is there with speed to chase chase this. Forcing third and 24 after a loss of 18. And look who's there again for the safety. Mars on the defensive end. And then the next time he's down inside like he is right there and just schools the right tackle and gets by him in a heartbeat. That's the freshman right tackle, Alex Fafita, the true freshman who is being dominated by Mar Cover college football, need to cover stories like that. That is incredible. Car complete to Rouse. Cutting back across the SMUD and Robbie Rouse. Represents a blitz and they're not bashful about it. Boy, another fumble forced by Marcus Hunt. SMU on top. You can see right here, but it's going to be the move up inside. He's already gone around the edge more than once, but right there, kind of the upfield and the under, and he blows up Rouse and gets the ball back for his team. Three sacks, two forced fumbles for the senior from Estonia. And Taylor Reed, the middle linebacker, was the guy. Carr, fade, knocked away, intended defense to make. Don't get caught watching the paint drive. Exactly right. Rouse to the. Rouse, stop short. Fourth and goal coming. Forces him outside. Watch the bubble right there. The penetration inside moves the running back one slot outside, and that was not where the point of attack was intended to go. He's impacting this game in a huge way. Fourth and goal, last play of the half. Carr 
to the end zone, knocked away in from their frame, and this was slightly behind the big tight end right there. If that ball's on the front number, that's a touchdown on the tap by that quarterback here at Gilbert. The SMU defense on the field to begin the second half. But Vargas on number 92, getting after it again with three blockers there on Vargas Hunt on the first play, meaning a chance to go downfield. And Isaiah Burst, first play from Get the ball down the field. You can see right there, absolutely, it was a triple team. Screen again. Rouse dropped it. A bit to the right, low profile, but trying to get lost behind those offensive linemen. But 44 does a nice job. Third and long. Hunt pressures Carr again. Has to heave it to the sideline. Margaming mean, off the edge. And actually, he's down inside over the guard, and he loops late. And it surprised Carr just a little bit. But this is one of the things that I've seen Carr do. He kind of. First and 10 from the 15. Robbie Rouse on first and 10. Carr throws incomplete. Carr audible. Marcus Hunt breaks through again. So Derek Carr backs up to the original line. And you see right there, he splits, leverage, the lowest pad level wins, and then explode through it, and Carr is running for his life. <laughs> Into third and nine, here they come. Carr flinging on the run. To run Acker out be well designed by Fresno State. 63 yards on the last two plays, and there's the... To the quarterback on this play. High snap, corralled. Carr heaves incomplete on third and ten. Play fake. Carr chased. Marcus Hunt tracking him back to the 30. Carr slips, throws, and it's incomplete. About Marcus Hunt, you can see him. He starts inside, gets double teamed, bounces it outside, and has the speed to get after the quarterback out on the edge. Here's another look at it up inside. There's the double team. Quarterback goes outside, and then, oh, yeah, this guy at 6'8", 280 runs 4'6". This is not going to happen. Carr steps up. Hit as he throws and intercepted. Taylor Reed picks it off, and the senior linebacker has blockers. Reed will take it all the way back, and for the seventh championship game. Yeah, something's going to give in that game. Carr rockets that one incomplete intended. Off his mark and make him uncomfortable. And number 91, Marcus Hunt, has been responsible for the majority of that today. Carr complete. Things that he could clean up between now and when next season gets underway. Heavy pressure coming as they stunt up front. Fresno State. Carr throws back incomplete. Boy, Stephon Sanders nearly down by 26 in the fourth. Carr is going to try and scramble, and he's going to take another. Unlearning him in the beginning, so I think we're going to hear from him down the road for sure. Carr complete. Second quarter, 22 points in the second quarter for SMU. Hard pass completed to a dragging Devontae out. Not the way they wanted to cap a uh, really good 2012 season. No, certainly not. And the extra practices you get from whole preparation are, are very important for teams. But you also want to win the game to have that momentum. As we see another pick going later.